Hey guys, welcome to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy. I'm Ken Tamplin, and we're here to talk about vocal rehabilitation or voice repair. Before we get started, if you feel you have a medical condition that needs medical attention, please see a licensed healthcare practitioner. I'm gonna share with you 35 years of my experience in the singing and speaking industry, but they are my opinions and experiences. If you have a medical dish condition, please see uh, a licensed healthcare practitioner. So with that said, um, I want to discuss, you know, kind of like, okay, voice repair or vocal rehabilitation. That's kind of like saying car mechanic, you know, <laughs> you drive your car in. Well, you first you have to find out what's wrong. Okay. Let's start there. Um, and, and what kind of maintenance did you have for your car or for your voice? Right. But I want to start off by saying that the voice is a muscle or a group of muscles. So it can be fixed like any group of muscles in your body. And I wanna be very specific about this because I'm gonna refer back to this a lot. And I want you to think rationally and coherently and think back, guy, he's right. So if the voice is a muscle or a group of muscles, I should be able to address this like other muscle groups in my body and heal them accordingly, okay? So we have to really, really drive that home as we're going through the process of this. Because a lot of people want that quick pill, that silver bullet that's gonna fix something really fast. And it was a lot of things that got you into this mess so it's gonna be a few things to help you get out of it and maybe you didn't even know you were doing things to get it Maybe you did or whatever Let's discuss though what kinds of things cause vocal anomalies or you know things that hurt the voice Well, not the least of which is um, do you speak a lot? Do you have a job that talks a lot? Uh, do you sing a lot or sing too much or did you sing too hard or too heavy or did you are you a weekend warrior? You know you went out on a weekend and you screamed your brains out or you do growl or you do scream or you shouted at a sporting event And so you hurt yourself so there's different degrees that the voice is affected. You know, did you develop polyps or nodes, right? Now, polyps and nodes are different. A polyp uh, is kind of like a blister on the cord. It can happen on both sides of the vocal folds. They're called folds or cords, as you know or may not know. Um, and I'm going to refer, try to keep things really simply. I'm not going to get into big technical terms because I'm not looking for tribal knowledge to wow you with big words, but because uh, I really want you to understand this. And I'm going to, again, keep referring back to this concept of a muscle. Okay, because it is precisely that. So, you know, did, so did you did you talk too much? Do you have a job that talks too much? Um, are you a telephone salesman? Are you a pastor? Or, or uh, you know, are you, uh, you know, do you go around the world talking in conferences? Like there's all, all kinds of different levels of this. Um, do you speak incorrectly? Well, most people do. So we're going to get into that. And we're going to get into remedies for that. Um, or is it a maybe a health issue? Do you have post nasal drip? Or do you have GERD or a form of acid reflux that the acid comes up and, you know, literally um, strips away all of the good mucosa and, and, and all of the moisture off the vocal folds themselves. Um, let's see, did it come after a prolonged cold or flu where you found yourself hoarse all the time, unable to hit notes, uh, unable to speak well, you know, etc. Um, smoking. Do you smoke? Of course, that's a big one. Or do you drink too much alcohol? That's another really big one. I quit drinking here about a year ago uh, because it was directly affecting my life, my family life, my singing life, speaking life. Um, and then uh, dehydration, you know, do you stay hydrated and do you even recognize if you're dehydrated? Um, allergies play a huge role in this and we're gonna cover some of this. Um, now, a couple of things about allergies. Now, there's different types of allergies. There's different reasons that allergies are brought on. Uh, it could be pollen in the air. It could be being allergic to different foods. Um, you know, so we're going to get into some of that. Um, is, do you have a compromised immune system? So we're going to talk about autoimmune situations and whatnot. Um, and extreme fatigue, like is your body just not healing itself? So do you get enough sleep or are you sleep deprived? Uh, that's another big issue because if the body can't heal itself and rejuvenate, then yeah, um, you might walk around horse a lot. Now, by the way, even still too, um, even if you do have a node or a polyp or legions or, or whatever on your vocal folds, those can be rehabilitated. So don't think that all of a sudden, you know, I'm sentenced to surgery because of that. No, absolutely not. In fact, I work with a lot of otolaryngologists, a lot of ENTs. So if, again, if you feel like you have a medical situation, it's always a great idea first to go get strobed, have them go back and look at your vocal folds themselves to see if you do have a, very, a physical issue. And if there is, then it's a lot easier to address that issue. But the cool thing about what we're about to do is kind of a home remedy course where you could do some stuff at home. Um, and especially during these times, you know, with all the viruses and things floating around, uh, it's a good time to address this too. And you, it gives you time to do this and, and to rejuvenate and, and focus and uh, focus on your health. So another thing too, 
is, uh, you know, what do you eat, right? So, um, you know, again, if you put sludge into your, uh, your engine, don't expect to get high performance out of it. It's not going to happen. So diet plays a tremendous role into that, into this. And we're going to get talk about that in a minute. Uh, and there's some great supplements. Now, a lot of people are adverse to supplements. Oh, you know, they're costly or they don't work or whatever. Well, the good news is yes, they do work. Um, the other good news is that I'm not, um, a person that sells supplements. So I have no kickbacks coming to me. I have no programs that I'm involved in where stuff comes back. So when I recommend something, I'm recommending something that has worked for me and literally thousands of people that I've worked with over the last 35 plus years. So um, do you eat inflammatory foods? That's another thing because um, basically most of the time, almost all the time, uh, the reason that we get what's called dysphonia or the lack of phonation or sound to come out of the cords is because of inflammation. Now, inflammation can start in lots of places. We could talk about autoimmune dysfunction or disorders, which usually starts at a swelling in the brain, and then uh, you get a nervous system effect from that, which is an autoimmune situation for the nervous system. Could be chronic fatigue, could be fibromyalgia, could be all kinds of you know different things that uh, kind of tentacle and, and, and trickle off into a different autoimmune dysfunction or disease. We're going to talk about that as well. Um, nervous system disorders, like um, unfortunately, I had to take Xanax for a long time to go to because I had a really bad sleep deprivation problem. Traveling, touring a lot, uh, get your body out of a good biorhythm for sleeping, and then you find yourself taking pills and stuff, but that just literally can destroy the central nervous system. So again, so you're, you know, you're a doctor on this. I'm not talking to you about how to deal with that part of your life, but I am going to say that there are things like what doctors will give you. So if you go to uh, like an AA, like a rehab or a detox center, in addition to some drugs trying to help you get off the alcoholism or alcohol or detoxing from drugs, they'll also give you vitamin B6 and folic acid. And we're going to talk more about these different things. But remember that I said that. So for nervous system dysfunction, D B6 and folic acid a couple, three times a day, follow you know just the, the standard things of, of going to a health food store and getting something like that really does help. Doctor prescribed, they prescribe it, so it's it's obviously something that's worthy. Um, other things is, um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna post a couple things in here that I actually have some great videos on YouTube. So, but I'm gonna get them off YouTube and put them in this series here, so you don't have to go searching for a bunch of videos. So you can see one of them is my daughter has a, a chronic fatigue syndrome (CFS), pretty advanced case of it, and we've been actually able to heal that and are in an incredible healing process that's taken several years and several hundred thousand dollars um, and traveling all over the world to try to figure out how to heal her, which has been directly related to uh, a nervous system disorder, meaning that chronic fatigue is uh, directly related to CFS, a nervous system breakdown and an immune function breakdown. So immune function and all these things come into huge play. So with that said, thank you for joining me. I'm just giving you guys information that has worked for me and worked for thousands of people that I've worked with over the years. Again, 35 years of experience. I got, you know, I don't know, I've got uh, over 40 records out. My cousin is Sammy Hagar. Some of you know that. Um, I've toured the world and I've, I've gone through different sleep deprivations. I've gone through different time zone changes, different fatigues myself, um, you know, funky foods, you know, bad dietary situations, lack of exercise. That's another thing. Really, guys, exercise plays a big role in this because it helps with your immune function and so forth. So with that said, uh, let's get started. We're going to do some exercises, talk about specific exercises for the voice. Some of them are going to be very singing related. Um, and the reason for that is, and I want you to kind of do the math with me on this, whether you're a speaker or a singer, right, um, singing is a lot more difficult than just speaking. And I have a video out there. I'm not sure when I'm going to release this, but it's called Supreme Speaking. So I walk through all of the different things that, um, you know, different uh, speaking exercises and techniques that'll work, but I don't focus so much on intonation and pitch and singing and whatnot, because that's not what the speaking video is about, okay? So with that said too, um, in this case, I wanted to go ahead and uh, springboard off of some of those concepts, but dial it up and ramp it up a little bit, because most of the people that are going to be watching voice repair probably have uh, related to are either related to singing or want to fix their voice so that they can sing or speak and sing better, etc. So with that said, let's get started with some exercises and we're going to just go right down through this and uh, let's do this. <laughs> 